Kia ora whanau. It's getting pretty late here. You can probably tell by my voice and from my tired eyes that it's getting late. But I've just finished writing up what I reckon is a pretty important list. Now, it's a list of all the phrases that I think you would need to learn to be able to have quite a, a lengthy and a proficient conversation in te reo Māori. I'm talking like 5, 10, 15 minutes of this fluent te reo Māori. If you learn just this list, I think you could achieve that. So we'll jump across and check it out. So here's my little list. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, all the way through to 14 different topics. And like I said, I think if you could learn these topics, learn the structure of them. Sorry, I'm just scratching my eye. If you could learn the structure of these topics, you'd be able to have a really good conversation. So start on the first one. The first one is learning all your questions. So who, when, what, where, why, and how. And then also uh, adding in this second word. So who will, who should, who has, who was, who is, who did, um, where should we go, uh, why was he like that, uh, when will he come back, um, what did she do to him, all those sorts of questions. How many, how many people are coming, uh, how did you do that, uh, how, should we, how should we get to the football game, all those sorts of questions. Uh, the next is pronouns. So for those that um, maybe have forgotten pronouns from school, uh, pronouns are all those words like I, we, him, her, she, us, them. Uh, they're, they're words that help to describe particular people. So um, learning how to say all those in Te Māori, and there's actually a few more in Te Māori than there is in English. Um, that's for another lesson, so we won't go into that now. Um, how to talk about the location of things. So things that are here by me is quite common. Things that are here or over there near that person that I'm speaking to, that's quite common. Uh, things that are way, way over there, away from both of, both of us that are having a conversation. Um, <clears throat> uh, also in there is like how to describe things being on things, being under things, being inside, being outside, being next to. Uh, being behind, being in front, all those sorts of words. Uh, numbers, so how to count from one to say 100 or even 1,000. Um, and then there's a, there is a difference between when you're, you're counting things versus when you're counting people. Um, and I, I don't mean actually counting, but when you're actually saying there are five people, um, there's a different way to say five than if you say there are five people tables um, it's still the, it's still the, the number five it's just you put a little different little prefix at the front of the word so you add a couple of letters at the front of the word so there's some little differences there um, how to talk about things like nouns how to differentiate between a thing versus the thing so a car versus the car versus the cars which is plural um, so this that um, near you, that over there. So talking about where things are, it sort of ties back into location a bit. Um, how to work with adjectives. So a house versus a red house. A dog versus a large dog. The books versus the sad books. Uh, classifying things. So how do we classify the, the books even further. So the examples I've got up here is this book is a Bible. So how, how do you, how do you, do you I guess, learning how to, 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 uh, to classify the book, that actual book, as a Bible. That man is a chief. So we're classifying the man as a chief. Those birds are crows. Classifying the birds as crows. Um, People, so learning all the diff or different names for people, um, how to actually say someone's name in Te Reo Māori in terms of the actual sentence structure or the word structure around that. Uh, talking about different people, your brothers, uh, your sisters, there's different words for brother, sister, there's different words for older ones, younger ones. Um, same for cousins, male, female, older, younger. Um, your mum, your dad, your nan, your pop. Um, kai as a prefix is another really important one. 
So it just is, it's a bit hard to explain, but it basically turns a word into a person. So for example, tiaki means to protect. But when we put kai in front of it, we say kai tiaki. Uh, a kai tiaki is actually a person and that person is a guardian. So it's taking the word protect and then I guess forming that into a person. Uh, the next one there, pamu, farm. Kai pamu is a farmer. Uh, talking about proper nouns, cities, place names. Uh, classifying people, so similar to what we were talking about, classifying things. So Jane is a girl, or sorry, classifying people and places. Jane is a girl. Auckland is a city. Taranaki is a mountain. Tom is a farmer. Uh, learning the differences in time when we're talking about things, things that have happened in the past versus happened in the future. Uh, tomorrow, yesterday, today, this week, next week, last month, this month last year, next year, all those different things. Um, talking about different times of the day, so dusk, morning, midday, afternoon, night, the middle of the night. Uh, commands, so being able to use commands properly, so um, you know, telling what people to do, telling people uh, in which way you want them to do it in terms of coming to me or, or going away, so like come here versus go away, or bring that to me, or take that away, or um, Thanks for supporting me. So that's probably not quite the right one. Um, we'll keep moving on. Um, so that's commands and the directions of the commands. If statements are another really handy one. So if something happens, then something else will happen. So if we don't go to the shop, we won't have anything to eat. Um, and that sort of covers the bottom one, actually, the negating uh, that top one. So um, if we go to the beach, we'll have fun. If we don't go to the beach, we won't have fun. So the difference is there between those if statements. Um, negating things, so negating actions, something that, that did versus did not, and then past, present, future, all those different tenses. Um, your commands, so sit down versus don't sit down, or stand up versus don't sit, don't stand up. Um, will not, is not, has not, did not, are not, have not. Um, they sort of tie into these these questions here. Um, your actions and your feelings. So uh, your actions where you do things just by yourself. So I am walking. He is sleeping. I will read. Um, actions that you do to other people. So you need you need someone to actually do the action, and you need someone or something to have the action done to them. So I hit the boy. You know, it wouldn't make sense if I just said I hit the. That's not a proper sentence. Um, she lifted the box. So a girl's lifting and a box is being lifted. Uh, Alex sent a postcard. So the postcard gets sent by Alex. <clears throat> Experience uh, sort of verbs. So these are things like I love her or I want the ball or he knows my friend. Uh, looking at the, the, the state of something. So he is lazy. He's, he's in a state of laziness. I am late. I'm in a state of lateness. He'll forget. He will be in a state of forgetfulness. Uh, next there is possession. So how we say mine, yours, and his or hers. Um, so my car, his, her, his car, your car. Um, plural possession. So how do we say our car versus their car versus your car? Um, the, the, the past and present possessions. Um, so who owns this car? This, this is a present possession. So who, who, at the moment, who actually owns this car? Well, Greg owns the car. Um, when we talk about possession, it's not only uh, about physical things, but we can talk about it in terms of um, actions as well. So who, who broke the table? Who, the, the, the brokenness of the table is in possession uh, by who, if that sort of makes sense. So um, they, they sort of read the same in Te Reo Māori. So who broke the table? Hear me break the table. Um, and then future possession of things. So who is this water for? This water is for us. Uh, and then the last one there, in the possession of. So the car of Jake or Jake's car. Um, the school of Simone or Simone's school. They're, they're, they're quite important in Te Reo Māori. So where are we up to? Jeez, they're nearly 10 minutes now. So that's my list. Um, there's no real lessons here, but just 
something for you to think about and hopefully these prompt all these different types of sentences. Um, if you look at it this way, you've already got a leg up because you already know how to say these in English. You know what makes sense in English. Now you just got to work out how to say it in Tadeo Maori.